The anointing of Elisha is simple. It's to simply have the conscience and be sensitive to what is good and what is bad. Always reflect upon your conscience in every action that you do. Is it right for you to do that facial expression? This one, you have to reflect upon your conscience in every action that you do. I mean, if the Holy Spirit did not suggest you to do any behavior or thoughts, it is not good. You need to know when to pray and to know how God will act after you pray to Him. I say you need to know how God will act for you after you pray to Him. I did not say whether God hears your prayer or not. I never say you need to find out whether God will hear your prayer or not. No, because you must know that He will hear you before you pray. So after you pray, you must know how He will act for you. It's not all dreams that you dream, you put it aside you. No, but you have to be alert on your conscience like Elisha did. The anointing of Elisha is to be conscious of our spiritual health all the time. So always be conscious. Okay, uh, I mean, each dream that you dreamt, you have to check your conscience, whether that dream you have to seek God to understand it or not. This dream that I dreamt today, okay, I check with my conscience. Should I seek God for the meaning of it? If yes, I seek. If no, I put it aside me. Everything that you do, you have to reflect back to your conscience. If you ignore any of them, you have afflicted your conscience. If a man sins against you and you moved in faith to curse him, that curse may fall upon yourself because faith works through love. So this is the secret to flush away unclean thoughts out of you. You have been meditating in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. But it seems to not be working. Why? Because meditation is not only in your heart. Meditation is in both heart and mind. It is not right to be meditating in your heart, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, while your mind is in other places. I will maintain this level of meditation. Declare it upon yourself. I will know whether to go here or go there. I will know whether to talk or to not talk. Every move is meaningless if it is not directed by the Holy Spirit. See me like this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. God bless you. Every move that you do is meaningless if it's not directed by the Holy Spirit. How do you know if you are truly meditating? You know that you have been truly meditating if you can hear the Spirit of Truth telling you, go here, do not go there. Talk this, do not talk that. Remember Joshua, he commanded the building to fall and it fell. Remember Moses, he commanded the ground to open and the earth swallowed up this idolatrous. They knew that they have power to make what seems to be dead, to become alive. The ground looks like it's a dead thing, but they commanded the ground to be alive and it cracked open and swallowed up instantly. And the earth opens its mouth and swallowed them. And you read in the next verse, after Moses finished saying all this, the ground beneath indeed opened. As mature Christians, you need to know that the ground is obeying your words. As a mature Christians, you need to know that this wall and window is fighting for you. As a mature Christian, you need to know that the trees that you see on the streets will work at your command if it is directed by the Holy Spirit. Tree fall down. Because all things that God has created will be used as a weapon to help you. Children will not be held accountable for their parents' sin. Have you read this verse? The evil spirit cannot fully manifest in a small child because of their young age. What can I compare little children 
and us is a bird of the same spirit as an eagle, they are not. When you see birds flying in the sky, and then you see an eagle flying in the sky, they are two different spirits. For by the grace given to me, I say to each one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought to. The key word that Apostle Paul said to each one of us as an advice is, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought to think. In the past, you were bronze. But now, after you hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, you become silver. But uh, there is still gold, a higher level. When people have bronze and they become silver, they now start to say that they are God. How about the gold and the diamond? Can they explain them? So remember Apostle Paul, uh, the book of Acts says that he was imprisoned in his house for two years. So he was under house arrest for two years at Rome. So doing the works of God is not only, let's go preach to 100 countries, but also stay for two years at where you are, spiritually present there to do the works of God. Do not only allow the Spirit of God to change you, but also allow the Word of God to change you. So the Spirit of God, if we are only limiting God to signs and wonders, then we believe. No, the Word of God. They arranged to meet Paul on a certain day, and they came in even larger numbers to the place that he was staying, which is under house arrest for two years, as you read somewhere. And he witnessed to them from morning till evening, explaining about the kingdom of God from the law of Moses to the prophets to persuade them about Jesus. You may think that Apostle Paul can raise the dead, can heal the sick, cast out demons, prophesy, summon an earthquake. But he still preached the gospel for the whole day to convince them. A healthy balance of both keeps you on track for God. If you balance a healthy balance between the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit, a healthy balance between the Word of God and miracles, you, it keeps you on track for God. Avoid both extremes. Full stop. The Lord detests those who is extreme to hear the voice of God. The Lord also detests those who never hear the voice of God. Be in the center. The Lord detests those who is super spiritual and the Lord also detests those who is non-spiritual. Be spiritual, of course, as the Holy Spirit instructs you to. And uh, I wish you well. So God bless you.